Hello, I'm not doing this one in the car today because this is something I feel really passionate about and I want to take it very seriously. Uh, today I'm going to tell you my 8 bits, get it, of advice for new programmers, programmers just starting out, and this is the stuff they won't teach you in school. I'm not going to talk about any language in particular, because the real root of being a great programmer is understanding the structure and the nature of code. Everything else is just syntax and can be learnt in days. So let's get started. Bit 8. Don't make life hard for yourself. Set yourself realistic expectations. You're going to have to learn to walk before you can run. The first thing a programmer should be learning about is, is, is variables and arithmetic. And then follow that up with sequence and loops and arrays and then functions and then extend it with structures and classes. And then you can think about the more advanced stuff like uh, object-oriented programming and inheritance and polymorphism. Going further still, talking about template classes and preprocessor stuff. Then if you want to interact with anything, you're going to have to learn libraries, you're going to have to learn protocols. Don't jump in at the deep end. Make sure you understand thoroughly the basics first. And you won't need to care then about what language you're using. You understand the order of things. You understand how the processor is handling the data. And you understand how these tools, these hardware tools, CPUs and graphics cards, can be leveraged to your advantage. So don't make the first thing that you write your ultimate ambition. Start by doing little programs en route. Learn things. Don't set your expectations too high at the start. You're still a beginner. It may be really tempting to think, I'm going to go and write a computer game. Or, I'm going to create a massive, complicated web structure for my website. But be a bit more reasonable. Why not start off with writing some little console application? Simply, really simple stuff. Enter your name, and it does funny things with the organisation of the characters. Or, it solves the arithmetic. Or, it's a simple little game. High-low is an excellent example for really starting off. You're not going to be able to get very far if you try and jump in at the very deep end. Bit 7. Choose the right tools. Choosing the right tools goes hand in hand with the language you want to use, but you're just starting out. Don't start with really complicated compiler chains and make files. Stick to the rapid application development environments, fully integrated stuff. You want tools which will allow you to edit the source, show you the compiler information, see what it's doing. If it's not a compiled code, if it's interpreted, you want to be able to step through line by line. And that means you also want your integrated development environment to have the really good debugging facilities. You want to be able to perhaps look at memory so you can see what's going on as your program is stepping through. There are loads of really good free development environments online, but I would recommend that you stay away from the ones that require you to compile them yourself. Start off with something that's really tightly integrated. Find a nice executable that will just click and run. And most importantly, whatever the tool, make sure that you can run your program within seconds of finishing that last line of code. You're a learner. You're going to want to run the program. It doesn't do what you want it to do. You want to edit it and then run it again. And this, this rapid turnaround time is great for giving satisfaction and feedback. Bit six. Keep it fun. Once you're just off the ground and you're familiar with some basic loops and things, try and write the programs that you want to write. But understand, you're not going to write a AAA title within a few days of starting to code. If you want to write games, start with a very small level game, so do things like a, a Tetris clone. That'll be really good for teaching you about algorithms and thinking about data. If you're into music software, try manipulating a waveform. Load up a music file and see if you can understand how the file is structured. Then add some crazy effects to it by playing with the maths. If you're into sports as a hobby, why not write some applications that can keep track of scores or personal bests? Something that you might actually consider using yourself. It's not up to me to tell you what to program, but all I can say is just make sure that you enjoy doing it. If it becomes a chore, it's probably going to dissuade you from doing it, and that's not what you want at all if you're just starting out programming. Bit 5. Practice. When I was learning to code, the best way to practice was to create a whole program dedicated to learning one function. When I was learning about loops, my program would contain for loops and while loops, or it was repeat until in those days. Um, but you know, break it up so you've got a, a program that just contains a working loop. So it, does, it might just do something boring, like add up all of the numbers between 1 and 100 and display it. But then you've always got a reference point. So later on, you can go back to that program and look, well, how did I do the loops there? As your skill set develops, you'll have a whole library of uh, little programs which you can label, and then you can always use them as a reference. But just remember, it takes time, and it takes effort, and it takes practice. Don't try and write a program at the start which has every single feature that that language might offer you. 
Keep these little practice programs simple and discreet. They only do one thing, and that one thing was to teach you how to code. Bit 4. Never cut and paste. You're just starting out. The worst thing that you can be doing is going online, highlighting a load of code you've seen on a website, and trying it for yourself. That's very useful later on, but you're just starting out. Get used to syntax by typing it out. Get used to writing concise code rather than really verbose code because it's less to type. Get used to writing readable code. Get in the habit of good variable naming conventions. And you won't be able to do any of this if all you're doing is cutting and pasting code from other people. Write it yourself, even, even if you're copying it from another website. Trust me, it's the quickest way to learn the, the nuances of a language. Bit 3. Don't listen to people on the internet. Internet forums have a peculiar type of people. Even though the internet can be a really good source of information, I mean, I wish I had it when I was learning, there are always people online who want to show how good they are, the really arrogant programmers out there. And so whenever a guy starting out is uh, requesting for some help on a forum, the first thing they get told is you're doing it wrong, you should be doing it like this, that's not correct, you don't want to use that technique. How is this helpful for somebody just starting out? If all you wanted to do was display your name on the screen and some guy on the internet is yelling at you telling you you're using the wrong encoding format for your strings, how's that going to help? Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of good advice to be found on the internet, and certainly don't shy away from asking people for help. But just identify that there are people out there who see you as a threat. The last thing they want is more coders in the world, and they also really need to show off just how good they are. Don't let those morons ruin your day by making your little programs really overly complicated. It'll only lead to confusion and frustration. Bit 2. Remember that the tools work for you, and you can't hurt them. This goes hand in hand with bit 3. Break the rules. Use global variables all over the place. Use unsafe system calls. Don't check all of your integers to make sure they're within range. This is stuff they will not advise you to do at school. But you know what? It doesn't matter. You're learning. You're not going to cause any harm. You're not going to break your computer, mostly. The computer doesn't have feelings. You're not going to upset it. And your code isn't being reviewed by somebody on the internet. It doesn't matter. Do whatever you need to do to get the job done. It'll be more satisfying and more rewarding, and you'll want to keep on with it. Over time you can learn that there are accepted standards that you should probably follow, and good, and good practice as well. But don't swamp yourself with all of those concerns right at the beginning. That will come with time, and mostly it'll come through experience, because you'll realise, well hang on, I'm breaking the rules and I know what I'm doing now, and all I'm doing is making life more difficult for myself. That's fine when you're writing enterprise level code. When you're just starting out, it really doesn't matter. Do what you want. Get yourself into a real mess. There's no greater mental challenge for a programmer than debugging stuff. And if you want a career as a programmer, you're going to be debugging a lot of stuff. So you know, make, make a complete hash of everything. Because if you can get yourself out of it, that journey will have presented so much new learning to you. And if you get really stuck, select all, delete, start again. It doesn't matter. You're learning. And that leads me into bit one get things wrong. Absolutely, the best way to learn is to make mistakes. Don't worry about writing really complicated specifications and plans to start with. Doesn't matter. File new, start writing code, get stuck in, get things wrong. The programming tools available today are becoming so sophisticated they'll tell you as you're typing in the code whether something is right or wrong. And you'll think, well why is that wrong? And it, it'll, over time it'll become logical. Oh, of course that's wrong. I understand now. And once that's built in, once that's in here, that skill will never go away. And you can use this talent that you've developed for programming in any language. So there you have it, my eight bits of advice for new programmers. If you're just starting out, I wish you the best of luck and I hope it becomes a happy hobby and possibly a career for you. I don't know. Just make sure that you're enjoying yourself and not demoralising yourself. If you found any of these tips controversial or helpful, I'd really like to know. Leave a comment below. And uh, if you've enjoyed this uh, video, please check out my others. Thanks.